Hi there, my name is Chucklecopter with PropWatch.com and today I'll be reviewing FPV Freerider. Jumping right into it, here we have your basic user interface. Pretty straightforward, a lot of the uh, usual suspects. You can also calibrate your controller. A uh, good feature to have just to make sure that your controller is working how you want it to. Uh, the game also does feature the option to mess with some custom settings. Uh, and these are great so you can really fine tune how your quadcopter flies while actually playing the game. Uh, and we'll do a more in-depth video on this in the future. The game does feature five different levels. Uh, there's the desert. The next one is the island, which is an island. Uh, the next course is the meadow, which features in figure eight track. Uh, the fourth one is the playground, which is like the island, but with the playground in the center. And the fifth and final level is the car park or garage. Uh, a really fun level because it's very complicated and there's a lot of obstacles that you'd have to fly through. Uh, somewhat of a larger level, I would say probably the largest of the five. Um, a lot of good exploring that you can do in this level. The game also does allow you to practice between self-leveling mode and acro mode. Uh, you can also switch between low rates and high rates, uh, which is nice because you really do get a good sense of what acro mode feels like. You can really practice it and get a good feeling before you completely wreck your quad by practicing. You also have the option of doing time trials in this game, which are really good for allowing you to understand uh, how, you know, time improvements and flying faster and doing better. Uh, so it's a nice feature to have, kind of fun, nothing too crazy. Overall, the game is very solid. I think the uh, simulation of flying through the game in mini quad is very relevant in this game. You'll have no problem from practicing here and going out and actually flying on your own quadcopter. Uh, I do definitely recommend, regardless of your simulator, that you connect your flight controller to your computer. Uh, in our case, we use our Tyrannus uh, to connect and actually fly and control. And then when you actually get out there and you fly, the similarities between the two are definitely evident. And you've got some muscle memory in how to actually play. I uh, definitely recommend this game. It's only $5 on the internet. Pick it up today. You won't regret it. Solid game. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys.